before 707 came out, I hadn't actually played Ursa in years. In years! Ursa was my go-to hero back in the day of that uncalibrated jungle. So, is he the same hero he was back then? Yes and no. Mostly no. Dude, he's, he's crazy now. He's really good. He was always good at killing supports. Uh, that hasn't really changed. Uh, well, and actually, yeah, it sort of has. He's gotten way better at it. And I don't know what it says about me that I'm celebrating that. Shit, dude, when not to pick? Hey, you like killing people in Dota? Hey, do you suck? Hey, are you a pro? Hey, are you anywhere in between? Do you like bears? Well, pick Ursa. Ursa is the ultimate man fighter. He beats every other one. I'm willing to challenge anyone to a 1v1 where I pick Ursa and they pick a hero considered a man fighter. I can beat Lifesteal or Juggernaut. I can beat LC pretty easily. I can beat Troll. I can beat PA. The answer to man fighters, right? PA counters all man fighters. Ursa is a man fighter who counters her. And also, just by happenstance, every other hero out there. It all depends on the items that you pick up. And no, I'm not going to say just get NKB to beat PA. PA is beaten without any items. The challenge in killing any hero as Ursa, however, is, you know, getting to them. And that's it. So, let's get to it. Yeah, uh, I take Ursa mid. Is that weird? I, f I feel like in the grand scheme of things, it's probably fine, right? I've suggested weirder things. Here's my build. As mid, I'd always go level 1 Fury Swipes and then quickly max out Earthshock. You'd then typically get Fury Swipes and preps for Roche. But it's 2017, man. Dota 707. And Ursa disappearing from mids to kill Roshan, successfully killing Roshan, nearly impossible. And that is something that you can use. This isn't actually the guide. I, I'm not really endorsing it, but it's an idea. Uh, buy a ward, buy a smoke, accidentally smoke an enemy vision, set up your ward to see who's coming, or literally just skip the ward bit and stand in this one spot here to get vision and wait. Wait for that poor guy who's been relegated by the team to bend around that corner, hoping that you're on 1 HP fighting Roche. And then surprise him when you're very much not. But back to the actual guide, Earthshock costs 75 mana at all levels, it lasts for 4 seconds and has a 5 second cooldown, it's a 55% AoE slow that also deals 240 damage, that is why we max it out first. On a lesser hero this would be THE signature spell, but Ursa isn't a lesser hero. Overpower gives 400 bonus attack speed for 6 attacks, it lasts 15 seconds, has a cooldown of 10, so effectively for 5 seconds you can have 12 attacks of near max attack speed. The best thing about this though, is that the charges only go down if you successfully hit a person. So attack PA, throw 12 attacks, miss 8 you've still got 8 overpower stacks. Throw 100 attacks, miss 92, you've still got 8 overpower stacks. No matter what, PA is being hit by 12 overpower stacks, it's just a matter of when. Fury Swipes, however, is the bread and butter, the Roche Destroyer, the spell that Ursa is known for, but nobody fully knows how it works, I've found, so here. Every attack adds one Fury Swipe tally to a unit, and then counts how many tallies, and deals 30 damage times the amount. So the first attack gives plus 30, because it checks for the, uh, the tally that it just gave. Uh, the fifth attack would give 150 damage, because there are five tellies above. The 89th one would give 2,670. It's an infinite growth, nearly. Legend has it that there's a max amount of damage that you can hit. It is said amongst the villagers that people have died trying to reach it, but the one person who does reach it, it just crashes their game. That's pretty much it. It, it. It'd be over the buffer overflow because it's stored as a float, but that doesn't really mean anything to most of you. I don't even know what it means. To the ones who do understand, have fun! Enrage is your ultimate. Remember when it used to convert your current health into damage and so you just built 5 hearts and got 700 attack damage per hit for, you know, 15 seconds? I can't imagine why they'd want to remove such a high skill ceiling spell. The current spell applies a strong dispel, purging pretty much everything, and a 4 second 80% damage reduction. The crutch is that it also multiplies the damage of Fury Swipe's tally count by 2. So on one hand you'd want to use it to escape a bad clash, on the other you'd want to use it after stacking 20 hits on a target. So Taylor fights in such a way that these things happen at the same time, I guess? I don't know how, just, I, I, I don't know, manifest it, right? Uh, going mid lane, typically as Ursa, I'd get a PMS. Considering there's no such thing as PMS anymore, I'd get two style shields. Improvise, adapt, overcome. But no, in all seriousness, the clothes make the bear. Ursa needs item. Let's get a few. Start off with Tango, Stout, anything else is really just sort of excess. Skip Orb, Venom, with so little distance between towers at mid, the minimal slow doesn't really pay off. Uh, Windlace is skipped for the same reason. Quelling Blade we skip too, because there's a little trick that we can do to make sure that we get the last hits without it. We have mediocre base damage, but we can prime the next creep we kill with a few premature hits to get the Fury Swipe stack going, right? Hitting a creep once before the last hit attack gives the last hit attack a bonus 30 damage. Hitting it twice gives 45. That's 100 damage if you include your base damage too. And if the enemy still does more damage, 
hit it again. Congrats, you've just won your lane. Now that we've realized that we don't need other starting items, I guess just start on the journey to phase boots. But that's obvious stuff, right? We need movement speed over attack speed, so phase over treads. So the question uh, becomes, how do we maintain mana? The question constantly asked, but never answered by Ursa players. Maybe raindrops will suffice. Maybe that'll be enough mana. Oh no, absolutely not. Our spells are cheap, yeah, but they're outrageously spammable. We need a mana regen item that also complements the way we're playing Ursa. Ursa, uh, I guess, is an ultra-aggressive early game powerhouse. So not Ether Lens, probably not Yule's. Battle Fury? Uh, mm, it'd come too late, plus we don't really benefit from the Cleave or Quell, and then it hits you. Why don't we get really controversial and get fucking Spirit Vessel? Surprise! You thought this was a nullifier guide, didn't you? I lied in that thumbnail, boy! I mean, tell me why Spirit Vessel isn't the best thing for Ursa. Now that we're skipping Solar Roches, we pretty much skip Morbid Mask, or at least get it way later. We do so little damage early game without massive stacks, so therefore we're life still even less. We farm with our Q, we're better off building a form of HP regen that isn't dependent on us hitting creeps. But alright, alright, okay, you're still skeptical, right? Here, who would be the most likely hero to have 20 kills in sub 10 minutes? Ursa, right? Or the mid hero in a game where the other team's feeding? Well, we're both. It's just that, in our Ursa games, they're not feeding deliberately. Urn gives us sustain and constant pressure, it gives us mana, it gives a little bit of armor, eh? and Spirit Vessel's upgrades are only benefits. 250 HP and 30 movement speed. That is massive. Mix in a four staff or a blink or a San Jinyasha and you're pretty much impossible to kite. I love Spirit Vessel Ursa, specifically because you don't think it's good. Give it a try, man. It's a win-win. Either you're right, and you get to say I'm wrong, or I'm right, and you've got a winning strat. Oh, and I guess Nullifier is good, too. Alright, thank you to Chris, Sir 1996 Freekill, Foxy or fucking Luxley, Lucas Gacon, Mine Siege Towers, Mr. Magic aka The Tones, Shadow Sweetheart, Jeff Miller, Mr. Revolute, I'm Pickle Rick, haha, ha, I saw these guides a whole day ago, Ashen Rabbit, Kim Nelson, Rhett Mitchell, Leonard, Christian Rudder, Rugu Mufle, Tsunami Shadow, Yabus McGee, English Breakfast Tea, 14, Uh Shiva's Guard, Slap a Leg of Lamb on the side for it, Tugs McBoat, Mylocot, XD, Exato, Apache Mari wearing a headwear nick wear, nicknamed as Hatcrafter, Jim Bob the Son of God, Soranok, Punith P, Scar, Grumin, the Chocatoo, Average Soul, Sando, Sindor, I said it right once, okay. Raphael Silver, Procrastination Studios, Carbon Bond, Orange Filter Sky, I Lie About My Love from Big Butts, Neutral Platonic Land Based Vertebrate, Raymond Horn, Freed of Londor, Ryan Webb, Emmy Dies Alone, King Gizzard and the Sheeny Wizard, Jolly Jew Giant, Pro S, Digital Dark, Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm the filthy fucking Slark First Picker. And the rest. Alright, bye!